गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर रिगार्डिंग द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन मेड बाय द ऑनरेबल मेंबर अराइजिंग आउट ऑफ द कमेंट्स ऑफ प्रोफेसर गार्डगेल एज आई रिमेंबर देर वर थ्री पॉइंट फर्स्टली दैट द प्लानिंग कमीशन हैड नॉट डेवलप्ड appropriate criteria and secondly that it had not worked out the annual plans with appropriate breakups these were two things and then there was another question about the planning commission mixing up with the policies of government and not giving proper advice or submitting to wrong policies and also that the planning commission did not watch the progress of the plan even in its broadest elements these are fairly grave charges it is up to the planning commission to say what answer it has for these things regarding annual plans and breakups sir honorable members here are familiar with the annual plans and that the central and state governments base their annual budgets on annual plans after a very careful examination of all aspects and after discussions prolonged discussions between the states and the central ministries all the material that is available is pressed into service to that extent professor gardgill's charge is not correct about criteria the complaint may be true because it takes experience time and technical tools to develop the criteria and the yardsticks though we have made some progress in this direction since the first plan was got ready i do not think that we can be or should be satisfied with the progress that has been made regarding the other thing the question of watching progress by the planning commission even in general terms and that it was not able to check certain gross errors and distortions that may be taking place well i cannot vouch for the planning commission having done its part in this respect adequately and correctly because i have in mind a certain aspect of the duties and responsibilities of the planning commission about which there cannot be complete justification for example on the question of foreign exchange resources there was the question of import licenses which were issued regarding which some honorable members said that they had been issued on a lavish scale over a certain period it is quite true and a statement was laid on the table of this house about these licenses and an explanation was given even that explanation did not deny that somebody was responsible for it we may say that it was the responsibility of the finance ministry or the commerce and industry ministry but the responsibility of the planning commission cannot entirely be disowned this is something which i have in my mind but i also know hundreds of things to which the planning commission diligently applies itself watches informs and conveys its advice on many matters it does so from day to day what professor gardgill has said about the planning commission may be partly true but not largely so and regarding the kind of policies it is a debatable ground it may be that with some policies professor gardgill agrees and not with certain other policies therefore when the planning commission aligns itself with certain policies of the government or helps the government to formulate policies 
in a certain manner and if those policies somehow do not coincide with the viewpoint of a particular person for him to say that the planning commission has succumbed or has subordinated its judgment is not a good and correct thing it really is throwing doubt on the integrity of the planning commission sir the honorable member quoted from an article by professor galbret and observed that the socialism to which this government is committed in this country is illusion he is not a protagonist of socialism himself and he explained those aspects that is we here in india have much less of regulation of the economy than is the case in countries which have no plans at all we are unable to direct our economy even to the extent as is being done in countries which do not lay any claim to socialism that is the main content of professor galbret's article for what purpose he has said that that is not the question here he said that in advanced countries they have tools and instruments for controlling and directing the economy on lines compatible with certain objectives it is true that we have not got all these tools and instruments sufficiently well developed in this country the honorable member mr dave said that fiscal and credit regulation won't suffice for fulfilling plans of this size magnitude and complexity that is perfectly true not that we have no instruments we have some instruments but as far as i can judge they are not adequate on the other hand when government applies some of these instruments and tools there are shouts from a number of people against whatever regulation we introduced and practice then sir the question of centralization was raised it was pointed out that planning in this country is centralized and it should now be decentralized